Hi class. Hi Rainbow class. I have a new book to read you. This is Teacher Winnie. This is a beautiful new book I just got called We Are Water Protectors. Look at that picture. I think you're going to really enjoy this book. We Are Water Protectors. Written by Carol Lindstrom, illustrated by Michaela Gold. Water is the first medicine, Nicomas told me. Water is the first medicine. It looks like that might be her grandmother. We come from water. It nourished us inside our mother's body and it nourishes us here on Mother Earth. Water is sacred, she said. See? There's a baby inside the mother's tummy, and there's water in there, and we're made of water. Water is sacred. We stand with our songs and our drums. We are still here. These are the First Nation people, the Native Americans. The rhythm, the river's rhythm runs through my veins, runs through my people's veins. There she is. These are lily pads. My people talk of a black snake that will destroy the land. She's looking out over and wondering, what is this black snake that's going to come? This black snake will spoil the water, poison plants and animals, wreck everything in its path. And look carefully at this. Here's the black snake. See the frog jumping on the lily pad away from it? What is this black snake? There's the fish. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder what the black snake is. When my people first spoke of the black snake, they foretold that it wouldn't come for many, many years. She's telling tales of what's going to happen. But they didn't think the black snake would come soon. Now the black snake is here. Its venom burns the land, courses through the water, making it unfit to drink. Look at the snake. Is that snake look like? It looks like a big pipe to me. Take courage. I must keep the black snake away from my village's water. I must rally my people together. She's not going to just stand and do nothing. No matter how little or big you are, you can act. To stand for the water, to stand for the land, to stand as one against the black snake. Here she is holding her feather. People are all holding hands together, making a big circle. If they stand together, they're stronger than just one. But it takes each one individual to do it. You have to be brave. We stand with our songs and our drums, and we are still here. It will not be easy. Look at that, the black snake, and there she is. She's just a child, but she stands with her elders against this black snake. We 
fight for those who cannot fight for themselves, the winged ones, the crawling ones. There's a hummingbird. There's a moth. Here's a snail. You know, these creatures can't stand up for themselves and talk. So she's going to help them by doing that. The four-legged, the two-legged, the plants, trees, rivers, and lakes. Look at those colors. We need to protect them because we're all part of the same system. And we all need clean water. The earth, we are all related. Trees, humans, animals, birds, fish, rocks, mountains. We are all related. And what one of us does affects everyone. Tears like waterfalls stream down tracks down my face, tracks down my people's face. They look sad. Tears are water too. They don't want to see a black snake pollute their waters. Water has its own spirit. Nokomis told me, water is alive. Water remembers our ancestors who came before us. There she is. She's putting her hand in water. She's thinking about how that water contains the water from our ancestors. That means the water from our great, great, great grandparents. And there's the water. It's so important. We stand with our songs and our drums and we are still here. We need to listen to those people and their drums. They are still here and they've been protecting the water for all of us for a long time. We are stewards of the earth. Our spirits have not been broken. There's a turtle, stewards of the earth. What do you think that means? It means taking care of it, looking after it, because we're all one family, the earth. Just the way we take care of our sisters and brothers, we need to take care of the entire earth and all the creatures. We need to take care of the water because it's what joins all the creatures together. We are water protectors. We stand. The black snake is in for the fight of its life. Look at this big picture across two pages. They are protesting. We've been talking about protests. In the United States of America, we are allowed, and it is our right to protest. When we think something or someone is being treated unfairly, when we think the environment, which is our family, is being polluted, when we think our sisters and brothers, all the people of the earth, aren't being treated with justice and fair, fairness, we can protest that. We can protest it and try to make change. And that's the book. Here they are. Look at the back. All standing hand in hand with the water. We are water protectors. Now in the back of this book, they have a nice pledge you can sign if you want to. I'm going to sign it. It's called the Earth Steward and Water Protector Pledge. I'm going to read it to you, but here it is, and you can sign it. It's like taking a pledge that you will do your best. I will do my best to honor Mother Earth and all its living beings, including the water and land. I will always remember to treat the earth as I would like to be treated. I will treat the winged ones, the crawling ones, the four-legged, the two-legged, 
the plants, the trees, rivers, lakes, and the earth with kindness and respect. I pledge to make this world a better place by being a steward of the earth and a protector of the water. And then you can sign your name and the date. And that can remind us that we all need to be stewards of the earth and we all need to be protectors of the water. Well, that's it. It's so nice to see all of you again. Bye, class.